Now we're moving into Natural Selection 1.5, where we're going to look at adaptive traits. You've learned a little bit more about how populations can change over time, so we're going to go back to our focus species of this unit and talk about what caused the new population to become more poisonous. I have an update from Dr. Alex Young. She says, we have new evidence about the population of rough-skinned newts that we want you to analyze. We have organized this data into two histograms, one showing the population 50 generations ago and one showing the population today. Let's first zoom in on the population of rough-skinned newts 50 generations ago. On whatever you're recording on or with whoever you're talking with, how would you describe the distribution of the newt population 50 generations ago? Now zooming in on our second histogram, how would you describe the distribution of the newt population today? When we look at the two histograms, we can see that rough skin newt population has changed a lot over 50 generations. I look at the distribution 50 generations ago, and I see that most of the rough skin newts had very low levels of poison. The highest bars are in levels one, two, and three. Now, today, 50 generations later, I can see that a lot more of the newts have very high poison. The highest bars are in 8, 9, and 10 levels of poison. Some other things that I notice is that variation has decreased. 50 generations ago, the rough skin newts had all of the different types of poison levels, all the way from 1 to 10. Now, the graph starts at poison level 4. So none of the rough skin newts have very low poison, even though 50 generations ago, most of them did. Something else that I notice in these histograms is that something in the environment changed. We went from having no snakes to having snakes in the environment with our rough skin newts. 